Hello Camp YA Fest, I'm Kat Ellis, I'm the author of a few YA thrillers at this point including Harrow Lake which came out last year and Wicked Little Deeds which just came out in the UK and is coming out later this month in the US and will be called Burden Falls there. Um, Wicked Little Deeds is the book I'm going to be reading a little bit out of today. It tells the story of 17 year old Ava Thorne who is a senior in high school and is having a tough time and she's recovering from a horrific accident she witnessed a year ago and has just had to move out of her family home, the manor that was her family's home for generations. And now dead bodies start turning up all around the spooky town of Burton Falls. And because it is a spooky town, everybody believes that it's dead-eyed Sadie, the ghost who haunts the waterfall, who is behind these dead bodies showing up. Ava's not so sure about that, but when the police set their sights on her as a prime suspect in the murders, she starts to wonder if maybe dead-eyed Sadie could be real. And if not, she needs to figure out what's going on before she either ends up in jail or worse. So I'm going to read a few pages for you now from near the beginning. Uh, so this is just after she's had to move out of her family's home and into a new place. Despite how tired I am, I don't sleep well later that night. The river is a constant whisper outside my window. Whenever I think about it, it makes me want to pee. And I have the dream again, the memory, I guess, about the crash. I feel it, the impact, the fear, crawling alone from the wreckage, seeing Maddock Miller standing next to his barely scratched car. At around 1am, something shrieks upstairs in the rafters of the mill, jolting me awake. For a moment, I have no idea where I am or what the screaming was, but it slowly clicks into place. I'm at the cottage. There's no axe murder being carried out nearby. It's just a barn owl, probably the same one I used to see around the manor ground sometimes and my parents are still gone. I let out a choked sound, trying not to let it turn into outright sobbing. Gradually my breathing evens out. A screeching owl is as familiar to me as the creaking floorboards of my old home. Or the random cold spots that seem to spring from nowhere in the manor. Those little things that might give my heart a quick jolt, but are nothing sinister really, even if mum was would always arch a knowing eyebrow and declare the place haunted. But she'd grown up listening to the superstitious rumours around Burden Falls. I've lived in the manor my whole life, and its creaks and mutterings and, yes, occasional screeches are just part of its charm. Looks like the old mill has charm too. I drag myself out of bed and climb the rickety ladder up to the floor above mine. The light from my phone casts eerie shadows as I shine it around the loft space. But the damn bird's nowhere to be seen. Everything is silent and still. My foot lands on something crunchy. I recoil, thinking it must be a cockroach, but it's actually an owl pellet. Owl pellets are what the owl pukes up after it's eaten some small creature. It usually contains all the bits it has no use for. Bones, fur, that kind of stuff. This pellet is old, dried to a white crust, and where it's crumbled apart under my foot, I see a perfect little skull. I lean closer, shining my light on it. I think it's from a mouse at first, but then I notice the teeth. They're pointed with elongated fangs. A weasel's skull, maybe? It's pretty cool, though. Or it would be if finding it hadn't involved getting dried owl puke between my toes. I'll come back in the morning and see if I can clean up the bones. Might look good on my windowsill. After dealing with the foot mess, I go back to my room. I know I won't sleep though. I'm too on edge. Instead, I sit at my desk doodling on a sketch pad, but my gaze keeps being drawn back to the window and the silvery line of the river winding north to the waterfall and Burden Bridge and the manor. Home. Except it's not home anymore. No lights shine from the manor house. It's barely a smudge against the distant landscape. For a moment, I swear I see something on Burden Bridge. It's only a speck from this far away, but I think there's someone crossing the bridge, heading toward the manor. I lean closer, my breath lightly misting the window. Is it her? I reach up to clear it with my sleeve, but the figure is gone. 
I shall leave it there for you. Hope you enjoyed that little snippet of Wicked Little Deeds. And please also forgive my lack of an American accent, as uh, you probably figured out it's from the perspective of Ava, and she is an American from southern Indiana. So please imagine <laughs> the accent there. I hope you enjoyed that and enjoy the rest of Camp YA Fest. Bye for now.